I think we're all reeling from the events of last weekend where we've seen two tragic shootings across the country. Obviously in our community, we're really hurt by what happened in Gilroy. And I think we should look at the example of California. California has been a leader in reducing gun violence. Uh, gun violence deaths have reduced by 60% over the last couple decades because we put in place a ban on assault rifles. You can't buy an AR-15, the weapon that was used in Gilroy in California. California has universal background checks. Everybody has to be checked for a criminal background no matter how you buy a gun. And third, we have uh, waiting periods. And so you can't have an impulsive buy. Those three uh, gun violence measures have been successful in California, but they don't exist in Nevada, where the Gilroy shooter actually purchased that firearm or in many other states across the country. What I think we should do is make sure that the same laws that our gun owners are subject to right here in the Central Valley are the law of the land across the country and that we're leveling that playing field. That's gonna reduce these gun violence deaths that we're seeing across the country. The House has already passed a bill to do that. It's sitting on Mitch McConnell's desk right now and I think he should bring it to a vote. How do you close the gap between Democrats and Republicans on this issue? I think we're already seeing it happen. We need more public pressure. We need more stories uh, of, of, of parents, of kids who are scared to go to school to make sure that our political leaders in the Senate are seeing the public pressure. 90% of Americans support the gun violence measure that I voted for that passed the House. 90% of Americans already support it. We need to make sure that the political consequences of the Senate for their inaction are felt.